Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Denny. If you are brand new, thank you for stopping in. If you're an oldie but goodie, welcome back. Excuse the sound of my voice. It feels like I'm coming down with something. I have some nasal congestion, but uh, other than that, I feel well. So please don't mind that my voice sounds kind of like nasally or, or just congested today i'm going to be showing you my skin bin what i was using what i am now currently using so just for reference and i say this on all of these videos i am in my 40s early 40s actually and uh these are the products that i use for my skin and my skin is normally um normal to dry with acne prone areas so that's, uh, those are the things that I normally target, but I use all types of products. So let's go ahead and see what I've been using and my feelings about them. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is what I was using for cleanser. For cleanser, I was using the Nuco. This is the Barrio Culture Cleanser. This is one that I was using last month and I'm still continuing to use. It has a really nice formula, but it's not something that I'm going to go out and purchase after I'm done with it. Uh, as for how it works with makeup, I never remove makeup with just one step. I usually do two steps. I do an oil-based cleanser to really like break down all of my makeup. And then after that is all off, I go into the normal cleanser. So for normal cleansing, I think this one's good. We can talk about toner. So for toner, the first one that I was using, I don't know if Okay, I'm going to go with this one. I think Akar was the last one that I was using. And um, I really like the Akar toner. I would definitely want to pick it up and have it in my collection again. It was really nice and I enjoyed it. From there, I went into this little sample bottle of the Haru Haru Wonder. It's a black rice toner. And this one was okay. Um, I didn't like it as much as the Akar, but it was good. And then what I'm currently using right now is from Soe and it's the Revitalizing rose mist and this i'm not technically sure that it is a toner but i use it for that purpose and it feels good it's like one of those products that you can use at all stages like to prep prime and all that good jazz so like you can use this as a facial mist th throughout the day or you can use it as a toner to balance your skin so i like multi-use products like that because they I can use them more than just for one purpose. And then let's go ahead into the serums. So for serum, I was using the Nuco and then um, it has a hideous smell. This is the pill. It has a hideous smell and I think I mentioned that in another video before. And uh, I had to throw a little bit of tea tree oil in there to like break down that smell. I'm having a hard time finishing up this particular product because of the smell. And then in between when I just can't take it, I go ahead and I switch into the Tea Tree Night Lotion, which I really like. And it helps to break um, any acne that tries to like pop up on my face. I was getting like a lot of acne right here in this area. And um, this reduced all of that within days. The All of the pimples and things like that started to dry up then uh, I was using an oil I was using the pixie by Petra rose oil and I really enjoyed this one mostly for the rose scent if you know me enough you know that I like rose scented things this one I liked and it finished off and then when that finished I ended up using the tea tree facial oil which I really enjoy as well I find that this is not as oily as normal oils and it has a nice good like it has a good balance of the tea tree and oil in it it just it feels good and then for eye creams let's talk about eye creams I ended up finishing off the refine uh this is the age reverse skin uh care one that i was using for months and i finally finished it off and then i'm currently using the sweet chef turmeric one it's a vitamin c booster eye cream so that's what i've been currently using and then for moisturizer i feel like i went through the most moisturizer and let me see i think the first one that i was using was the strivectin the nia 114 this one was okay. Um, I didn't have any issues with it and I finished it off pretty well with no 
interruptions from there i went into the youth to the people this one is a kale and spinach green tea hyaluronic acid uh moisturizer really like this a whole lot and i will definitely use this again then from there i ended up trying the sunday riley ice i could not stand this product again a product with a funky smell it, this one smelled like if the lotion had gone bad and it's just old it had like that musky weird old lotion scent did not like that from there, I ended up using the Pharmacy Daily Greens, and this one was a little too thick for my liking. Uh, I did finish it off, but it's not something that I would use again. I didn't like the texture of it against my skin. And what I'm currently using right now is the Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion, and this I like as well. I feel like Murad always helps rescue my skin when I have acne, and it does the job. That right there was everything that I was using and everything that I switched to. I really hope that you like these videos, that they're informative and they help you make decisions on um, some products that might work for you. These definitely work out for me and some I have my challenges with, so I like to share those with you. And I'm the type of person that I will try to endure and use things all the way up before I tell someone that something is good. That is why I find it so crazy that I'm having such a hard time just finishing off this one product just because it, it really does trigger me with that scent for some reason I just want to throw it away and I know how hard it can be when you're trying to use a product and you just don't like it to like be forced to use it <laughs> and uh yeah that 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 definitely is one that I feel forced to finish off and at this point um uh, I might just not use it at all. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see next month. Go ahead and let me know what you thought about this video, what you thought about the products that I'm using. Do you use any of these? What were your um, thoughts on them? Go ahead, leave them down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Become a member of My Guns Fam. And as always, from my house to yours. Love ya.